Tonight, the Housing Authority of New Orleans is under fire from two high profile elected leaders. City officials say the embattled agency is holding on to millions of dollars of property across the city. They're called scatter sites, yeah, lots, like and abandoned buildings once set for sale that Hanno now says it wants to redevelop. U.S. Senator David Vitter and City Councilwoman Stacey Head both say Hanno's recent decision could be costly. And we know tonight that a former elected official has taken legal action against Hanno. WDSU I team investigative reporter Travis. Mackle has more on how that official is accusing Hanno's executive director of trying to cancel a lucrative contract. Construction is still ongoing at Jackson's Landing Apartments in Algiers. Most of the people who live here receive some type of voucher from Hanno, the housing authority of New Orleans. But the people who live here are caught in the middle of a fight between the property owner and Hanno. Don Ballet heads up a landlord's association and has followed what's been going on with Hanno for months. And it's like going right back to where we were before. That's because Ballet says Hanno and its director, Greg Fortner, are trying to slip out of contractual obligations with landlords, and he points to this property in Algiers as an example. Thickening the plot, Jackson's Landing is owned by a former well known politician, Jim Tucker. Once the Speaker of the House of Representatives. Plan that's been approved by Joint Legislative Committee on the Budget. Tucker says he had an agreement with David Gilmore to lease the units to Section 8 tenants. Gilmore ran Hanno from 2009 through 2014 when it was under federal control. Tucker says his deal with Gilmore allowed him to renovate these units and relocate the tenants into other apartments while construction was ongoing. But when Fortner took over last summer, he canceled the deal, stopped payments, and even took back money from Tucker. Fortner told the I team in a meeting that Gilmore's deal with Tucker didn't fall in line with federal standards. But Gilmore, according to his contract, had total approval to sign off on all deals like relocating tenants and approving work done on other units. And in a federal lawsuit filed by Tucker, he claims Gilmore did exactly that. Tucker declined an interview for the story due to his pending lawsuit, but says Hanno backing out of a deal is bad business for all landlords. What? Valet agrees. The housing authority has just been inadequate in all its paperwork and, and its policy procedures and doesn't want to honor a commitment that has been made by the federal receiver of here before. In a federal filing, Greg Fortner said, Mr. Tucker informed me that Hanno's staff had approved an agreement under which the property would continue to receive payments for units that were not occupied during renovation of the property or that were occupied by residents without prior inspection by Hanno. Fortner went on to say that Hanno determined that the payments Mr. Tucker received for the property were not eligible under the applicable federal regulations. But City Councilwoman Stacy Head says Fortner breaking deals done by his predecessors is bad business for New Orleans. You have to be able to rely on the word of government, and if there's a change of guard, you still have to be able to rely on people before you. But Hanno Director Greg Fortner said his office is just following federal HUD guidelines, and even if he thought the deal with Tucker was a good one, the federal government would still not allow it. Hanno asked that this matter be held in federal court. The initial lawsuit filed by Tucker was done so in Orleans Parish. Back to you. Each year, Hanno receives about $150 million in vouchers from HUD. Fortner says 97% of that money is used each year.